Hey, it's Amanda from Loops and Love Crochet, and I just have a quick video tutorial for you on working double crochet stitches in increasing rounds. So this would be for if you're starting a market bag, like the two patterns on my blog, um, or any project where you're working double crochet stitches in increasing rounds. Uh, this is how it would start. So first of all, you'd work a magic circle. So I'm going to take my yarn that I'm using, and I'm just going to wrap it around a couple fingers. And then I'm going to crisscross it and hold on to it on top of my fingers. I'm going to insert my crochet hook underneath and pull the yarn through. So here is my magic circle. It's going to bring my yarn tail over. I'm going to hold on to my circle and then I'm going to chain two. So one, two. There we go, and then I'm going to work 12 double crochet stitches into the magic ring. And this is specific for um, one of my market bag patterns, but uh, just look at the pattern that you're doing and it might say a different number, not necessarily 12. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to work 12 double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. So now we have. 12 double crochet stitches worked into the magic ring and then I'm just going to pull the yarn tail to pull the circle closed. So I'm just going to pull it in and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of my first double crochet stitch. So there's my slip stitch. I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to pull the yarn tail um, a little bit tighter too, so the bottom there's no there's no hole in the middle here. And then to increase, my first increasing round is going to be two double crochets in each stitch around. So if I did 12 double crochets for the first round, the next one will be 24, and we're going to keep increasing by 12s. So I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to work two double crochet stitches into um, each stitch. And I'm going to work over the yarn tail here too from my magic circle so it doesn't slide open again. So you're working two double crochet stitches um, into each stitch. And the chain two doesn't count as part of the stitch count. So I did four, six, eight, ten. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. And two stitches left, 22, and 24. There we go. So I've uh, completed the second round here. 
and then we're going to keep increasing. Uh, so our next round is going to have to have 36 stitches. So uh, we did one round of 12. The next one had two double crochet stitches in each stitch. And then we're going to join to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch and pull it nice and tight. And then for this next one, we're going to start with two double crochets in the first stitch, and then we're just gonna put one double crochet in the next. So we're gonna alternate two, one, two, one, all the way around. And that will help us increase evenly. So the increases are worked uh, evenly all the way around. If we kept going with two double crochets in each stitch, um, it would be increasing too much too fast, and your crochet project would probably be um, a little bit bumpy. They'd start getting kind of rumpled. So we're gonna work them evenly all the way around. So I did two, and then one, and then two, and then one, and then two, and one, one and then we'll continue like that all the way around alternating two double crochets and one double crochet and when you end off you should be finishing on a one double crochet so I'll meet you back around okay so we're back all the way around so we have 12 stitches in the first round 24 in the second one 36 in the third one and then we're going to continue increasing in 12 so keep it nice and even uh, so for this next round so I've joined with my slip stitch and chain two. Uh, we're going to start with two double crochets in the first stitch and then we'll work one double crochet in the next two stitches. So it'll be two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two, and then one, one, and then two, and then one, one. So you can kind of see a pattern in how the rounds increase. Um, each stitch will um, start, each round will start with two and then you're gonna keep increasing the number of single double crochet stitches, working one at a time in each stitch, um, each time. So this round is two double crochets and then one double crochet in the next two. And then the next round's gonna be two double crochets and then one in the next three. And then the next one will be two double crochets, one double crochet in the next four stitches. So it kinda of goes all the way up like that until you are at the size that you would like to be for your increases. Um, and then you'll start working just one double crochet in each stitch around and then follow the rest of the pattern from there. So here I chain two. I'm gonna work, start with two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next two. So one double crochet, one double crochet. And then two stitches again. Here's my increase. And then we'll do one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And this is how we're gonna go all the way around. And your rounds will continue to increase like that. And then when you get to the size you like, you can start working on the rest of the pattern. And there we go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful um, to learn how to do double crochet stitches in increasing rounds. Um, like for working a couple of those market bag patterns on my blog, this is how you would work the base. Um, but you can also use this tutorial for working any uh, crochet patterns that start with working double crochet stitches in increasing rounds. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can find more free crochet patterns on loopsandlovecrochet.com.